during the summer, he's always putting up in group chats and saying, we're going to run routes at this time. Be here this, this amount of time early so we can work on extra stuff. And he always stays after, even though he, he uses his weekend to vote strictly to football. And I just appreciate that, I feel around a guy like that. Tabari, what did it feel like for you to, to get loose and have the kind of uh, outing that you did today? I know you've been working really hard. Uh, so it's a relief. I work hard this off season. Uh, I just want to thank my coaches, thank the old line, thank the quarterbacks for giving me the ball, and I just do what I usually do. I've been trained to do this, and I just it's something I like to do. Is there a part of you that is thrilled with the, the outing you had, but at the same time you know that you probably were one move away from taking one to the house uh, late in the game, right? Uh, yeah, I, I like to put points on the board. <laughs> I mean, it helps the team as well. But I mean, we was up a good amount. I just want to contribute where I can contribute and just. Be happy that we won this game and we won this homecoming and show the fans that we are ready to take that next step. There's one drive where you had back-to-back -back catches, and the first one you had a defender trailing you, and you also had a defender right on your on your back almost. How were you able to shield him off and make that grab? Do you know the one I'm talking about? Oh, yeah, I know the one you're talking about. I just see him out the corner of my eye, so I don't try to make it seem like I didn't see him so he could try to go for the big shot, and I just kind of like spanned off of him. And I kind of lost my foot on one of them, but yeah. it all worked out in my favor. I caught the ball and do what I talked to do. Are there playmakers in Wake Forest now? Uh, it's, it's been playmakers. We just had to jail and click and get it all going together. How much of that is also those big guys up front? Uh, it's a lot to do with them. They work hard. They they probably, out of our position groups, heard the most about they don't do this, they don't do that. But also, just because it may seem like all the all the stuff is on them, the receivers don't get open, the quarterback gets set. The quarterback is late with a pass, the quarterback gets set. So it's not always on the line. Now, as you're over on the sideline getting ready to get back out on the field, how much are you paying attention to the fact that the defense is having an impact too and keeping that up-tempo offense off the field? Is that something you kind of notice going through uh, the game? Yes, I, I noticed that uh, defense having a good game is always, it's always good because you get to get that extra momentum. It just, okay, they're doing good. The offense got to do good too because for the past couple of years, they've been carrying us and we just – want to show them that we're ready to carry them if they don't be able to carry us and just come together as one group. They had some steps against their defense right from the start. What did you guys say? What was that? Uh, I just, we worked, we worked on a lot of things this week. They play a multiple defense, so they play a lot of coverage. And we know if you play a multiple defense, you're probably not good at one thing. You're probably just OK at what you do, the certain things you do. So we just attack the open gaps. And we hit a lot of good plays early and just put a nail in the coffin early.